What's up guys, Next Tech here, and in this video I'm gonna be checking out an app that a lot of my followers have been telling me to get and I finally got it, it's called Screen Standby. Now I should mention this is a free app and you do need Root to use it. I'll put all the links in the description if you do have Root. And it's really cool, basically what this does is it doesn't turn your screen off, but what it does is puts the brightness all the way down to zero so it mimics your screen being off. The screen is actually still functional, but the uh, display looks like it's off. Now, if you're gonna ask why is this useful, well, if you've ever plugged an Android phone using the HDMI into your TV, you'll notice that the screen stays on and wastes a lot of power for no apparent reason because you're using the bigger screen. With this application, it saves a lot of power because your screen is basically on zero brightness, not using any power, so it's brilliant, and I'll show you that a little bit later. But I'm just gonna go through the app as of now, so you can see the options. We've got screen off methods, zero brightness, you can see here uh, a non-root method. Um, I've tried it and it's not great. You know, the effectiveness, it, it just brings the brightness down to 20%. So I'm still going to stick with the fact that you're going to need root. You can see here one, two dim mode. Basically, it sets a timer. So if you want to like, you know, set a, set a timer for the screen to dim all the way down, do something quickly, go into an app and do something and let it go off, you can use this setting here. Sensor settings, you know, you can shake to wake up the screen or put it, to a low brightness mode. You can also do the face up and down detection, which is nice. Proximity settings as well, you can use to swipe over to uh, bring it down. There's also this um, new feature called app detection, which you can uh, set certain apps to make the screen go off or lower the, the brightness, I should say. There's also HDMI detection and dock detection, pretty obvious what they do. You know, you plug in your HDMI and the screen will pretty much go to zero brightness, so it looks like it's off. And some other cool features here, but you know, let me show you some of this stuff now. So we'll uh, go home here. Now, a lot of people apparently listen to music using YouTube on their phone. And let me just show you what that does. So if I go into YouTube now, and oh look, Gangnam Style is on my list. So we'll use that song. 1.2 billion hits, by the way. That is ridiculous. So I don't really use YouTube to listen to music, but apparently a lot of people do. So if you do, you'll know that it can be annoying because let's play and you'll find out. Okay, you can hear the song there, it is playing. Turn it up. Now if I turn the screen off, the music stops. So kind of annoying, right? Right, so what we'll do now, let's just make that like that again and we will turn off the screen or see look it pretty much looks like it's all off now but it's actually still usable it's just zero brightness so if we shake it to wake it up go back into youtube play this song again shake the device you can see it's still playing the song you can hear that speakers on the back um, but the screen looks like it's off, so you're going to save a lot of power if you do do this. So you can basically use mu uh, YouTube as your music player. So that's kind of cool. So you can see I, I actually stopped the music playing because I touched the screen. So you can see the screen is still active even if the screen is on its lowest brightness. So yeah, I'm going to move over to my tablet now, guys, and show you this plugged into HDMI and see its benefits. What's up, guys? I'm back and I've got my tablet here on hand with the uh, screen standby app installed. So if I go ahead and plug in my HDMI cable here, you'll see that it appears on TV and it's still on my tablet. So if I, for example, play a YouTube clip, annoyingly, it plays on both, which is kind of useless because you're really only watching it on one thing, right? And by the way, I have to turn my volume all the way down because I don't want to listen to any crap on my TV. So that's really annoying. And you know, there's no option to turn off the screen here and it wastes a lot of power because now you're running kind of two displays, right? So what we'll do here is we'll we'll press this so it actually comes alive and then we'll shake it to turn it back on. We'll then go ahead and play that same YouTube clip, guys. And shake the screen. The display has now gone to like zero brightness on here, so it looks like the screen is off, so we're saving lots of power. But on my main TV with the HDMI, you can see that it is playing in the background. So you could have your movies, your YouTube, anything you want and not have the display here wasting power. Now, obviously, it does still work. As you can see, if I press the screen, you can see the YouTube stuff comes off my TV. But yeah, guys, it's uh, it's much, much better with this app. And don't forget, you do need root. So yeah, enjoy it. See you guys later.